Oh my God, too funny. I came down yesterday and brought Lucy. She said, let bring Lucy back today, and they wouldn't let me, so sorry. Oh, that's okay. Yes, it would have nice to see Lucy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm Tanner than you. Oh, my God. Yeah, is it? Never. Enjoy it now. It'll never happen again. <laughs> How you doing? Isn't this crazy shit? I'm, I've been worried about you. Yeah, it's been, it's been pretty bad. I mean, they're, they're fighting hard yeah. up there. I guess uh, the horrors. I went to. Uh, okay, go ahead. I went to Aubrey's office the other day, and he said you were here. So, did he come down and visit you? He was supposed to come down and see you. No, I didn't see him. Yeah, I'm done. All right. Well, he's he was planning on coming down to see you. So, Aubrey's supposed to be coming down. And um, that's how I found out. So as soon as I found out, I went and signed up on the website and got a spot to come in. Oh well, thank you for coming yeah. to visit. That was sweet. It's nice to see you. <laughs> You, you too, sweet. Uh, well, the coalition is going to be putting some good stuff together for you soon. So, uh, you know, I can't talk to her at all because she's got a because everything we do in here is recorded. So you know that, right? So watch what you say. No, I know. That's why I'm saying the coalition. Okay. Yeah, the coalition is the coalition is going to be putting something really, uh, let's call it dynamic and uh, very very insightful to everything that's happened uh, out there. So as soon as that happens, I'm sure the pot will be stirring pretty good for these uh, rotten scumbag judges and crooks and all these other cocksuckers that are screwing with you. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're not allowed to swear? No, I don't want to get in trouble for that. I didn't, I just so, it just aggravates so bad at what they're doing, so um, I, I got to control my excitement level. I don't know what uh, you've heard. Um, I, I signed the extradition papers. I got about 34 days left according to everybody's count but my ex you knew that <clears throat> so they're, they're going to transport me we don't know when when they're going to take me um then they'll put me in county and then i'm supposed to get a hearing um michelle said that they uh, that elliot's been trying to get a child support hearing while i'm in jail or in prison to try to keep me there but she said there's there's no rights for it what we're hoping is we could um end up because after prison they're going to make me do parole is get parole down here and that's what i'll ask aubrey about but yeah i mean there's not much aubrey can do do you know what i mean well, he's gonna try i think he's gonna try to keep you here or something i have i don't know anything except to just seeing you now i have i haven't heard anything from anybody haven't gotten no contact from nobody so i had no idea what was going on i was just in the cold dark oh so you didn't know anything yeah i heard that i'm um, no, I had no idea. Yeah. I didn't even know when you went in. Just last time you talked to me, you said you were going to, and I was like scratching my head going, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Oh, well, yeah. I, and then I can't see it. that was it. Yeah, I can't say much on the phone, but there was a reason that I had to well, as soon as I found out, which I'll tell you at another time. But, um, yeah, no, Jack okay. said he was down on the beach, and uh, Broadhor was actually emailing my mugshot out to every place, to friends, to um, posting all over people's Facebooks. <laughs> Yeah, I, she, he said he's been totally out of control. I talked to Stripper. She said that um, Rod Hor has been posting shit on her Facebook page. Um, well, I think Broadcore is going to get a rude awakening when the coalition puts the heat on him because he has no idea what's about ready to come down on him. Yeah, he, he's just a scumbag blogger that's just acting like a thug underneath your thug husband. Yeah, he. Um, I guess he contacted Jack's uh, landlord and sent um, pictures of me and then called and said that she was in danger and I was a, a danger and basically scared that this woman doesn't even speak English. They said that just had her just as scared as could be, you know, and he was, and then he called him in Boston um, two nights ago on his layover and threatened to kill him. You didn't know that either. Broadcore called Jack and threatened to kill yeah, him? Yeah, Jack was in a hotel room on a layover in Boston and um, he had just got, he was just ready to leave or something like that, he said, and he went to grab the phone. Now, tell me if this sounds familiar. I'm sure you, you and your good girlfriend, you know, your girlfriend? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> gotcha. Um, uh, he, uh, he got a phone call and it said, it's not going to be me, but we are coming for you. You're going to get it. <laughs> really? Now, if you know anything what about Jack the, said. if you know anything about the story, that is the same wording that uh, my ex-husband said to Michelle, said to Michael Redeen, said to me, said to Dee Dee. Um, is it's not going to be me, 
but I've got people coming for you. Yeah. And what they, what uh, Broad Horse said to Jack was, it's not going to be me, but we've got people coming for you. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, yeah that's pretty. Yeah. No, I, no, I didn't. I didn't know it. Nobody's told me. Why don't uh, Jack? Why don't Jack file uh, some kind of action against him? Well, that's what I threat. said. I said he's calling. He he sent my photo to all your neighbors at the condo. Stripper said that um, he's posting stuff on her Facebook, and they're not even friends. And then stripper, I talked to stripper today, and she's like, "Yeah, he's he's sending out your mugshot to all these people." She goes, "Talk about a defamation." And she goes, "I can't believe there's nothing we can do to this guy to shut him down." And then they said that he was calling um, over and over to the uh, condo, and the the condo guy kept saying, "Stop calling me," and he kept calling. And so is Dick's um, attorney's office keeps calling. And Michelle, you know Michelle Puffs, she said they have no authority to do any of this. This is harassment and all that, but. Anyways, enough of that. How's Lucy? Are you getting, uh, she's great. Are you getting, um, kind of sidetracked now thinking about Sorry, this. I wasn't trying to, I just I was trying to make sure that you heard that before I got off the phone. That's so nice you came to visit. No, that no, was I, so I sweet. What, what well, you're a good <laughs> friend. I hate seeing all this stuff happen to you. So, you know, these, these people in this coalition you, that you got going on, they talked to me and said, this is crazy. And, and then Aubrey ran to Aubrey, and he said you were down here. So I thought, well, I'll just come down and see you. No, oh, I'm so glad you did. See what happens. Yeah, so you didn't know hey, where you it know, was. Uh, okay, go ahead. Did you know, do you know this uh, attorney called Ryan Gary out of Minnesota? No, never heard of him. He's a five-star rated criminal attorney in Minnesota. Okay, how about Coley Grostener? Grostener? Yes, I know that one. Coley Grosser? I know the last name. Have you guys used that one already? No, but for some reason I know that last name. I don't know why. The, Are the names of the... And the other one is Halberg, Halberg Criminal Defense? Uh, yeah, you don't want those. Those are, those are three big five. No, no Halberg. No Halberg. And no Coley, because you don't know Coley. So Ryan Gary, you've never, you don't know him. He's, he's a five-star rated guy. Looks like uh, an aggressive, just, you know, his picture stuff, he looks like somebody that might be... Uh, something the coalition could use for you. Okay. So the object is maybe the, the coalition gets the right attorney up there, and that attorney actually reports and works directly for counsel down here, so that there's a check and balance so that the corruption level up there can't get misscrewed between what the attorney's doing and what he's supposed to be doing. Well, what they're just to keep make sure that he keeps straight. What they're supposed to do by law, um, and I was only supposed to serve 42 days. I think you knew that. The appellate court overruled the judge and said, you are to let her execute. That was supposed to be seven months ago. The judge never did as she was told to do. We kept waiting. She wouldn't do it. You knew that, right? Right. Okay, so we kept waiting, yeah, and she that. wouldn't do it. She was ordered to do it, and she just wouldn't do it. So we thought, okay, we've totally nailed her for just, you know, not obeying the courts herself. She's probably going to go there and go, fuck it, time served, let this girl go. Well, she didn't. But, so the maximum they can give me is 42 days, and then I've served all my prison time, and then four months parole. That's the worst they could get me. But because she's violated all my rights and all that, they're saying that all this should be completely dropped because everything's been violated. Do you get what I'm saying? I yeah, I hear you saying. I can't believe they're going to spend the money for extradition. This is the second time. <clears throat> no, I know. So what do you These think? Are, they they got to be held accountable. So I think that the coalition gets this Ryan Gary and it has somebody like Aubrey down here pulling the strings, making sure Gary's doing what he's supposed to do and, you know, figure out how to combat this through the legal system and take these scumbag judges and, you know, thugs that are messing with you and, and try to hold them accountable. Well, what is Aubrey saying? So, he thinks I should stay here? Uh, he, didn't, he didn't talk to me much because I was in another thing, but he said that uh, Jack had contacted him and that you were down here and he was going to come over and see you. Mm -hmm. uh, and he obviously hasn't got over here yet, so. Yeah, I wonder what he's thinking. I think you were trying to, st you're trying to, you're trying to stay down here and do your 42 days down here and be done with it. Uh, that's what he, that, okay, that's why I was asking what your opinion is. Obviously, I can't talk to your girlfriend because I, I, right. I obviously I can't for reasons, but I'll have to go through you to talk to her. Um, so I don't know what she thinks. I don't know what you think. Jack thinks that he's just concerned of me being back in their hands. That's what he's concerned. 
Yeah, He's like, I'm afraid well, I'm once they get you too. up there, what's going to happen? At least if we've got you here, at least we know it's only 42 days, you're four months parole, and they're not, you're not going to. That's what his opinion is. What's your opinion? Maybe, maybe you should see if you could get into the infirmary there and have somebody analyze you so that you've been analyzed, so that there's no way that somebody could say you're not sane, there's something wrong with you, there's anything Oh, they've like already that. did that through medical. Uh, okay. Did you have a psych evaluation then? Um, they said that I, they asked me all the questions, and they said that we're going to skip that. Clearly, you're, that's not, you don't even need to go through that. That's what they said. Yeah, but you'd be nice, be nice to have that document on your side in case these clowns up there try to pull a well, quick one and try to stick you in a, Yeah, but I've know, had it done five times. Like <laughs> They've done it five times, and it's come back fine every time and they still say stuff so that's not going to do it so when they brought me in they did the um they asked me all the questions and then everybody else had to go and i said don't i have to go they're like no <laughs> we're not going to waste our time on you you're fine because they're all on medication and whatever they people had issues right. they're like no that that's not for you so then they brought me to medical and then i went through medical and they're like okay we you, there's really not much for us to do here you don't have any I mean, you have your teeth. I mean, you don't do drugs. I mean, so they're like, okay, we're going to skip all this too. And then they just threw me in the cell. They go, there's really nothing. You don't, you don't, you don't fit the profile, basically. So what do you need? Do you need anything? No, I'm good right now because I don't know how long I'm going to be here. Well, I, I could go on, I could buy everything you need online for you. Because if I put it in the commissary, if they take your money out of the commissary and, and rip you off that way, it's not a good thing, so I can actually buy the stuff and have it given to you. Oh, um, shit! How could I don't have a pen to write your number? Because this, because this, this, this jack off from Broadcore was already saying, yeah, she got ninety nine dollars and forty six cents in her account. Yeah, Jack put you money know, on my like account. She's, she's, yep, and that's what he did. Yeah, I was gonna put money in your account too, but I have a friend that's uh, a good friend of mine is the nurse in there that takes care of it, that checks people in, checks people out. Didn't do you because you came in at a different time. Oh, so, okay. So I want to make sure that if you need something, I'll buy it for you rather than put money in your account so they can't just come in and take the money out of your account for something. I'll, I'll, buy, I'll buy whatever you need. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. And how do I get a hold of you to tell you what I need something? Um, you know what you need to do? Put, um, put your phone, uh, hook up your phone so I can call you. Do you know what I'm saying? And that way I can you make calls out yes, of there? Yes, I can make calls. I mean, I have no way to write your number down. Um, let me see if I can memorize it. Okay, what is it? Oh, God, this is going to be tough. Okay. 643-3448. 643-3448. Okay, and you have to remind me right before you hang up, tell me again. So hook your phone up so I can call you from here. And then that, 643-3448. So that way I can call you if I need anything. Because I, um, I know that they just bought stuff for me for today, for the next few days, because they don't know when I'm going to get taken. So you don't want to buy stuff, and then I, it's left here. Do you know what I'm saying? That way right. I can... I just want to make sure you have everything you need, though. Yeah, right now I'm fine. I don't want you to be without it. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, right now I'm okay, but if... I feel bad, Sam, that I... I feel bad that I... No. It took this long. I didn't know you were here, or I'd have been in right away. I didn't know you didn't know. I didn't know you didn't know. I didn't know, sweetie. Nobody told me. Nobody, had, you know, nobody said anything. I had no idea. Yeah, I know. If I wouldn't have been to Aubrey's that day and he wouldn't have been there, I wouldn't have. I still wouldn't have known. No, so, I'm okay. Anyway. No, I'm good. Good. Yeah, that way. Don't be getting worked up. Now. Um. There's people out here care. That's all. I know. I appreciate it. Um. No, I'll just call you if I <laughs> need anything. I know. Where's my Lucy? <laughs> She's you know, she's my therapy dog. <laughs> I actually drove I drove down special yesterday with Lucy and walked in here with Lucy to see if I could bring her. I know, but I can't hold and they her. Said, no, she has to be a service she has to be a service dog. The comfort dogs they won't let in. Doesn't, don't they know that that's my comfort dog? <laughs> that is my comfort dog. Uh, um, yeah. They don't really have too much of a sense of humor in this place. Yeah. No. Um, what are we thinking that we can do? I know, I know, um, if, as long as you're working with BA and maybe you can work with that coalition group or whatever so what's Sandy doing? Yeah. and figure out what you guys can. I'm going to work with the coalition 
I'm going to work with the coalition, and they were talking about maybe running a full page or a half page ad in the Minnesota newspaper. Oh, my God. Wouldn't mm. that be. Do you think about, they'd even let you do it? I don't know. One way to do it is put the ad together and find out. You know, hey, if you really want to know the truth, go to <laughs> this website and ask all these questions, you know, on a, on a full page thing. Why would this happen? Why would that happen? You know, do you really want a killer running around loose in your neighborhood? Oh, my God. Or not a killer, but a rapist. Yeah. I was hoping that, that, uh, that you had that friend that has, um, he runs a worm farm. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, trying to get that taken care of. Yeah, he's got. Yeah, I know. I don't know if they're night crawlers. Well, that's or... part of that. That's part of that coalition group that. Uh, part of that coalition group's contacts that, that want to help you out and do this. They're also talking about once they get this big new uh, site developed that has everything on it that just completely uh, negates everything that that Jackoff Broadcourse put on there. It's that. Uh, that they're going to start up a GoFundMe thing in there so that, you know, these people, these 5,000 people that are looking at your video and the rest of them that after that full page ad blitz comes out and this big new site comes out, if they get all this stuff done for you, it'll really uh, start making an impact on the local community. Well, what is, um, what is the coalition thinking? I know we're running out of time because we don't know if they're going to take me today because I've already signed the docs so they could take me at any time. Today, tomorrow. The coalition was just waiting on some funds. The coalition was just waiting on some funds to come in. Oh, okay. So if some funds come in, and once the funds come in, then the coalition is going to, uh, you know, put this effort forward and make this happen. Okay. But it would be expeditiously once it happens. It's just a matter of, you know. Taking care of that other outside thing, yeah. 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 yeah if the, if the, uh, the funds come in, then it'll all happen, and it, it will be a shitstorm then. I think that's what we basically need at this point. Is that what the coalition believes? I think we need a shit show. Yeah, well, the coalition, the coalition thinks that the public needs to be made aware. They're, they've been um, led down the wrong path for so long by those with the money, which is, you know, your your hu ex-husband and his band of thugs. Mm -hmm. So since that band of thugs keeps putting out all this stuff on their Missing in Minnesota website that's misleading and misguiding, uh, you know, when the truth comes out and people can see it, maybe something will happen. Well, I think, yeah, the only thing that's going to work at this time, I would say, would be media. It's public, 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 um, what's it called? I can't think. Public, um, the, awareness. yeah, public awareness. I think public awareness is, uh, well, uh, what are you thinking? I don't know if people read the newspaper, I don't know if the people read the newspaper up there, but if there's a full page ad in the Sunday paper, that might get some attention. Yeah, that might do it. The question is, will they do it? And will they mess with it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. They can't really. You, know, I don't. you send in artwork, and that's the ad that goes up. They proof it, and then it goes on. Uh, yeah, but I could see them taking down one website and putting up a different and saying, oh, we made a mistake, you know, something like that. But that'd be a huge lawsuit against them, wouldn't it? But not if that... Um, against the paper, yeah. If that... Uh, because our work would be done. I know, but it would help if that um, that guy that runs the the uh, the animals. Yeah. There's not much he can do, is there? The bait farm. Uh, I don't know. No. Yeah, we'll find out if if that's if that's possible. Uh, I haven't had I haven't heard any response from that side of the coalition yet. <laughs> but uh, it was a matter of funding. So as soon as funding came in. I know that everything was all the all the uh, interest levels are going to peak and everything's going to get turned on. Okay, and that's what you think. You know, the guy from. Go ahead. Yeah, the guy from the farm was going. The guy from the farm was going to be able to be engaged, and you know, the technology side was going to be able to engage to to help you out, and then your uh, media side was also going to get engaged. Oh, so oh, so that pretty much starts the whole. Are you okay? I've had a really bad cold for the last couple of days, so. Were you out on the jet ski again? Uh, I, yeah, not today I didn't go out. No, you don't I'm look just, that I've been tan. Sick for the last couple of days. You don't look that tan. Okay, well, that's not fair. I'm. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> you tell Lucy she has to. Yeah, look I, probably look, I didn't see what that looked like. I probably looked fat. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, stop it. <laughs> no, I'm eating jail food. Really? Are you kidding me? Don't even. Uh, seriously.
Um, but yeah, so hook up your phone so that way. I can call you. Is it uh, is it regular bologna or is it extra special bologna? Oh, we're not that special. I'm in Max. You didn't know that? I'm in Max. In Max, you're in Max. Mm -hmm. I'm in Security. I'm in lockdown. Yes. For what? Because if you're considered a fugitive, that's the same as the same levels as like the murderers and the uh, carjackers or all those people. Yeah. Are you kidding no, me? No, so I'm in Max, which is locked down. I'm not in General Pop. Oh, yeah, Aspon's getting her way. If she's trying to make this year in one day as miserable as possible, she's getting it. Yeah, I'm in lockdown. Wow. You didn't know that. <laughs> a lockdown, a perfectly innocent person that hasn't done anything is getting put in Max security lockdown. They did this in Osceola. They did this in Minnesota, and now they're. And when I got here, she goes, "I'm sorry." She goes, "But you're considered a fugitive." <laughs> I go for a hearing. I wasn't even told about. She goes, "Doesn't matter. You missed a court hearing, therefore you go to max, which is locked down." Well, at least you have to deal with a bunch of derelicts, anyways. Um, I, I think know. I'd rather deal with derelicts and be locked down all day. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. They give you pen and paper to mess with. Yeah. I have a pen and paper. Yep. But Maybe you should make a lot of notes and uh, send it out. Everything you can think of that would be important. Well, they read everything you know. Yeah. yeah. So, you're telling the truth. Oh, okay. I didn't. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I suppose I could do that. Well, when I'm back in there, I'll be. I mean, like, like for example, how how your driver's license thing? How, you know, from A to Z. How 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 did somebody? Lose her license for no reason that didn't do anything. She's never had a ticket. Well, how, how did all that stuff happen? Well, the question was, how did they re, re um, it, what is it called? Reinstate a license but I don't, in reinstate. a state I, I didn't even have a license, and it was conexed for years. And See, I don't, I don't know all the details to that, so if you do it, the, the coalition puts that ad together. They can make all these examples of how in the world would something like this crazy happen. Well, I left the state you know, so in 2012, examples, okay? I went to another state, I handed over my license, that state handed back my license, and I was all done. Years later. I know, you're telling me this, honey, but you're telling me this, but I need if you could put it on paper, oh. some, the bullet points to it, so I understand, so when they write, when the coalition puts it together, they can, they can do your ad the proper way, because it'll have all the sequential things and the questions of why did this happen, why did that happen. Oh, yeah, Michelle can't even explain it. You know I mean? Yeah, she's like, it does it, even when she called. They said, well, we don't understand it either. Is she helping you now? Is she allowed to defend you now? Um, she got her license back on Sunday, but she has to be under. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, you knew that. Okay. Is there anything on the justice blog? Well, I read, I read, I read, no, I read Jerkoff's uh, thing. See, that's why that, see that's why that needs, needs to go bye-bye. That needs to go bye-bye. Because people are really going there because they don't know anything else. That's why that thing really needs to go fast. That needs to go fast. Because yeah. that would be... Yeah, that would send him into overload, and then he'll do something really stupid. I think. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe he's doing it. He's actually calling people and saying he's working on behalf of Elliot's law firm. And, th I mean, scaring people. You know, you need to give me this. I'll protect you. And, yeah, it's pretty bad. The guy's a mess. But whatever. Um, this is broad court. Really. Yes. He's contacting people. He's emailing my picture to people's na uh, neighbors. Yeah. He needs to be shut down. And remember, he's he's Dick's mouthpiece. So you shut down Dick's mouthpiece, Dick might actually have to, you know, fend for himself. You know, it's like scoops. Yeah, well, I don't know. Scoop says what he. Dick just Dick, Dick just pays the Dick just pays the bill, so he'll find somebody else to pay a bill to. If you know, his his little bully right now gets taken out of the picture. Well, well, according to Scoop, his little bully is breaking every law there is, and he can't figure out why he's not getting why nothing's happening to him. Even Scoop says, I don't understand this. You can't do, you can't be calling people and threatening people and, and sending stuff to your landlords and to your neighbors and, you know, you can't do that. And he, Jack, has nothing to do with me. So it's not like, it's like sending to your neighbors. You know, he's friends with you, so I'm going to send all your neighbors pictures of her and say all the, you know what I mean? You can't do that. That's what Scoop said. That'd be like him. Well, you can do anything. It's just a matter of how much somebody's going to prosecute him for it. So if he's if he's doing you know bad things down here, maybe there's some Florida laws. He needs to tell Aubrey. He needs to tell Aubrey about the threat. 
Okay. And what's happening to him? Show you. Well, see, that's so if you the talk problem. To Jack, he's going to say, yeah, because I, I, no, I talked to Jack, but he's like, Aubrey's going to charge me, and he's like, I don't want to, I don't want to pay for something like that if nothing's going to happen. I go, well, I think, okay, I would think you can press charges against the whore. Okay, thank you. Well, he should, he should talk to Aubrey and find out, and Aubrey will tell him whether it's wasted money or not wasted money. Oh, Aubrey will tell him. Yeah. What did Aubrey tell you? Yeah, you know, I, you know, I didn't talk to him much about oh. anything. He just said that you were in jail. I didn't know you didn't so know. I shit, man. I didn't. Oh. No, I had no idea. I haven't heard from anybody. Not a soul. Yeah, I know. The stripper came to see me. Jack's been in to see me and you. That's it. So I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it's a good thing that people don't know. I don't know. And I've taught, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how far their reach is, but if they find out who's been visiting you. They're gonna know me. Yeah. So. Yeah. But. I don't know. Nobody, nobody's contacted me. Yeah, I don't know. What, I mean, they haven't gone after stripper yet. I know that. Do they know her? Uh, not really. They kind of do, but not really. But Broadhor hasn't gone after her yet. You know. That's why, that's why I said if I need anything, I'll just take your number and have you send it in. Because if you put money from the outside, yeah, Jack was livid. He says, I don't even know how the guy found out. And he asked the cop in there. They, how do you get Jack's number? What do you mean, his phone number? I have no idea. How did he get his landlord's phone number and email? Nobody knows. Yeah. He got into Jack's DMV. He got in Jack's credit report. Um, what else has he gotten into? Um, he hasn't gone after stripper yet. Oh, he found out that Jack put money on the canteen. He said, uh, Jack told me that Broadhor posted that on his Twitter or whatever he's got. Yeah, that's how I seen it. He said, so she's not broke and penniless. She's got $98. <laughs> Freaking what a... Are you serious? Is that what he said? Yeah. Yeah, it says she's not broke and penniless. She's got $98 in her account. That somebody else put on my account. Yeah. 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 That's why, um... What an... This guy's such an... I know. How does that look? Doesn't that make him look really bad? Yeah, if anybody has got any sense of reading, they go, what? $98? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. At least you're making me laugh. <laughs> well, wait till the coalition builds this big site that they're talking about building. It's going to put the finger on him and his $90,000 salary and... Well, according All to Scoop, he's, he's making doing. more than that. Scoop says he's making way more than that. I said, you're sure? He goes, oh, yeah, he's making way more than that. For what he's doing, the level he's going, I mean, this guy could end up in jail. Like what me and Scoop were talking about, Does that, I, I, you have to have a phone set up for me to call you. And I didn't know whose number to bring up. So when you set your phone up and call you. So I talked to Scoop this morning, and he said, basically, if, if you can get broad whore, on the stand or somehow to talk, if he says that I'm not working for any, he won't admit that he's working for Rocky, but if he says I'm not working for him, any good defense attorney would be able to screw this guy and say, well, then you must be mentally ill to go after this woman because this is not normal so-called reporting. Do you get what, what Scoop's trying to say? He, he wants him to admit that he's working for Rocky. This guy's going over and above. He's going over and above. He's on every day, every minute talking about yeah. every little detail. Yeah, and he said... And been slanting it, slanting it in a way that makes it look bad. But that's what we have to stop quickly, and I know that you guys, you and the coalition, are working on it really quickly to get him shut down. But he says you need to get somebody who can put this guy in the stand and say, okay, you don't work for anybody, so you're doing this of your own volition. And then crucify him for saying then you must be mentally ill because the levels that you are doing, yeah. you are committing crimes and you've taken, you're not getting paid for this. So you, I don't, you get what I'm saying? He's trying to show that this is, you're psychotic. Yeah, but the problem is the, sta the stands there are all slanted in his, in his direction. So you got, you'd have to take him on a, outside of Minnesota where, you know, you could get a fair trial. Well, that's on. how you got him because he went after Jack in Florida. He went after Jack in Florida. He went after the condo that Jack lives in, in Florida. So that means jurisdiction is in Florida. It doesn't go back to where he lives. It stays here. That means Broadhor has to come down here to defend himself. Uh, if it was a good attorney, they would force Broadhor to come down here to defend himself because he took action 
interstate, across state lines, and he took action here. So Jack doesn't have to go back up there to defend Jack. That's what, that's what, uh, that's what Aubrey, Jack needs to talk to Aubrey about. Yeah, no, so you're telling me that if somebody stalks you from California, you should have to go back to their town and get a hotel room and, and fly up? No, 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 no. He committed the crime in your town. He came after you, Dennis. So that way you can, you, the, the crime happened at your home. So that guy committed the crime, crossed state lines. He has to come here to defend himself. And that's what Scoop was saying. You got him to, you have to get him to admit that, okay, I don't work for anybody. It's just me. Well, then if this is just you doing and this is an employment, if it's employment, okay, well, then you're doing it for your job. But if, if you've gone to this level and this much on your own, then there must be mental issues here. Oh, by the way. I was told there's a, some kind of video on YouTube of Michael Broadcorp crying and crying after he lost his job at the state capitol. Do you know about that? No. Uh, but he said that the, co the that coalition either. might like that. Okay, so it's a Michael Broadcorp whining like a little girl because he lost his job, right? Yep, yep. That might be good. That might be good for the coalition to put on that site. Yes. Um, I was told <laughs> it's a YouTube video. And um, it's Michael Broadcorp. He said literally crying like Dick does in court with the fake tears and the wiping of the eyes and the whole big show. And they said it's right on YouTube and it's Michael Broadcorp crying when he lost his job. So what else is going on? Anything exciting? No, just, uh, you know, the coalition is thinking about putting a private investigator to do a lot of uh, digging and searching on Dick and his band of uh, thugs. Oh my God! As well as that's a good idea. Ooh! It cost a couple grand to have a PI that, that's gonna, you know, squeeze these guys a little bit. Squeeze Broadcorp too, you know. But you can't use one in that state. That's the problem. I don't trust anybody in that state. That's the problem. Do you? Doesn't have to be. It could be somebody from down here. It could be somebody that's sent in. Find a good PI and send them in from anywhere. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Is that what the coalition and you are thinking? That that would work? Thinking about something like that. It's just a matter of the budget that they get in. That's why once a couple of the big monumental things get taken care of and it's underway, then if there's a GoFundMe program, they could subsidize a lot of all these other ancillary type things. Then a lot of stuff could get stirred up. And the coalition thought the GoFundMe site would work? I'm surprised on that one. Well, can't hurt to try. I think, I, I, I think, I think if there's a site that clearly combats the site that they got and says exactly everything the opposite, tells them the truth. Oh. That people. So every time a tweet comes up or a post comes up from them, one goes up on the coalition site that refutes it and tells the truth about it. Yeah. So a tit for tat, type, a tit for tat type thing, almost a, a knockoff of their site. Okay. That says everything in return that's the truth about what's going on instead of the stuff that they got. Yeah, because every time they throw something and up, go all the way we poke holes in it. They try to put a story, and then we poke holes with the truth, and then they don't know what to do. That makes sense? Well, it's all, it's all about how well the technology is built, oh. and if the coalition can come up with it and put it together. Wait a minute. <laughs> technology, websites, don't you know somebody that does that? I got some people, that's what I'm working on. Oh, do they have a big, huge desk <laughs> and a great view? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you're making me laugh. That's funny. <laughs> Is that who you're thinking? Great big desk and a... <laughs> no, 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 no. But that's a, that other project was a lot of fun, too. How's that? I was going to ask you, how's that working out? It's working out good. There was... Uh, I did two, uh, two different big meetings with the whole team, full boardroom, and the post-it cards all over the windows of all the different things. Oh, okay. So it's, it's been a big, it's it's all getting funneled down right now. I'm getting flash. You have five minutes remaining on your visit. Okay, okay. Keep telling me, Tim. Tell me. So anyway, it was kind of cool that they they outlined everything that's going to go on. It's a big project. So, after. Two extensive meetings with all the different teams of people, with from graphics to programmers to research to all of it. It was it was eventful. 
and you got to accomplish what you It's going to be Oh, big. good. So are they getting really excited? So, yeah, everybody's pretty excited about it. So now the next phase is they'll come back to me with a wireframe and uh, a layout of it and then a, a budget for it. So hopefully next week I say, all right, start building. Oh, my God, really? So soon? That's what you were hoping for that would happen this soon. Oh, I wanted, to start, I wanted them to start working before now, but last week I couldn't go in because they had, they couldn't put all the team together because they were all scattered out doing different things. So they got me in Tuesday of this week, and they said they'd have it done by the end of next week, all the stuff that they needed to do to finish up this last meeting. I said, well, block me on a calendar then right away, be, you know, after that, because I don't want to wait. I don't want to lose a week in between. I want this thing started and going, like yesterday. All right. So. How's it going with the, um. With your oh god I wonder oh uh, how's it going with the uh, great the other great view you have is that working out okay? I had a hearing today. Okay. And looks like I looks like it might be good to the end of the year. <laughs> I told ya, good for you. <laughs> I was sweating, going oh geez, you know I know I have to oh, do something in the middle of before summer. Before you forget, tell me your number again before I forget because I will have to be able to call you otherwise I won't be able to see you or talk to you. Six four. Six four six, three. Four, three. three four four eight. Three. That's it. Six four three three four four eight. Okay, go ahead and talk. That's it. Um, but no, it's it's been a, a good day today so far. Okay, I win. I got this rotten cold. I feel terrible. Well, you look but... good. You look really good. <laughs> it's so nice of you to come visit me. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry you didn't know. I didn't know you didn't know. I've come so far now. Now, now that I know, I'll come. I'll come oh, visit Oh, I appreciate more. it. But, if you need something, call me so I can buy okay. it for you. And you'll I will. It. I will. I'll remember your number. You just have to set up your phone line so I can call from here. Yeah, well, what do you do? What you go you? online and you... Well, how do I set I don't it know. Up? You go online. Stripper did it. She just puts your credit card online, so I just hit collect, and I dial your number, and it goes straight to you, and it's already prepaid. Oh. And it only goes through, like, right. like well, Stripper I'm has it, I can only call Stripper. Scoop has it, I can only call Scoop. Um, Jack has it, I can only call Jack. So you set it up on your card, so I can only call you. So you're only paying for your phone call. You know what I mean? So, so stripper's not paying for Jack, and Jack's not paying for Scoop. They each are right, paying right, for their right, own. Right. That way, that, I mean, you still have to accept it, but you set it up because stripper had to put more money on this morning. You just put it on your credit card. Yeah, no, yeah. I understand. I didn't know how. I didn't know that. I decided to go ahead and set it up to be able to come and visit you. So I set all that up. Now I got a visitor ID number and all that stuff. So. Yeah, no, I didn't even know but what they do. Now I'll set up, I'll set up the phone. Okay, All and then right. I'll tell Jack to call Aubrey. So I'll just call Aubrey and tell him about the threat that was made against okay. him. Okay. And what should he do to, uh, if there's any charges that they could impose against Broadcourt? Make, make it uncomfortable for Broadcourt for being well, a Well, that's thug. what I want, but I don't think Jack wants to spend the money unless he thinks he can get somewhere, but I'll tell him what you said. Will you tell the co the, my friend? Well, and I could hook him up, I could hook him up my friend over to, at uh, uh, district, not the district attorney, but the state's attorney, too. Okay. The state's attorney? <laughs> maybe, these, maybe these threats could come. Yeah, maybe maybe the Harry, the state's attorney, could do something. For okay, for I'll threats. tell him to go to Aubrey first, I don't know. and then I'll tell him if that doesn't work, you can hook him up with the state's attorney. Well, before I forget, will you tell your girlfriend I love her? Or he, could, yeah, or he could go straight to the attorney, you know, too. That way he doesn't feel weird because he's got some weird feeling with yeah, me anyway. So, <laughs> you know. Yep. Yeah, I'll give her, I'll give her, I'll give her a big hug. Please for give you. her a hug for me. Tell her I miss her and I love her and I think about her, and I hope she's feeling okay. I know she's been very ill. I know she's been very ill, but she knows I can't call her, so just tell her I love her, and I do miss her, and I hope she's okay, and I hope her mini's okay, getting big. Um, I'm trying to think of everything before I hang up. Six four three three four four eight. I gotta keep putting it in my head so I don't forget. They don't let me bring pens or anything. I have to write on my arm everything. I got stripper's number on there. I got scoop's number. I know, and I forgot to bring my pen and paper. I was going to write stuff down for you, but I, I did have this with these names of these people. Yeah. Um, so Ryan Gary, Ryan Gary is the only one out of the yeah, three. Yeah, see, yeah, and then I'll tell Jack to contact uh, Aubrey and see what he thinks if I should just, if they want to keep me here. It's 11th. I remember Michael Redeen told me it was $11,000.